Hong Kong is expecting to recover from its worst recession this year with a lower deficit and plans to help the unemployed. GDP in 2020 was down 6.1 per cent, while the number of jobless people in the city is at a near 17-year high. Measures announced for this year's budget also include higher taxes on stock trading, which of course shares to fall hard. Joel Flynn has more for us from Hong Kong. Eating out is back on the menu in Hong Kong. And for local restaurant owners, suffering after months of lockdowns and social distancing measures, it couldn't come soon enough. Eateries are now permitted to open in the evenings. We are so happy that the government is allowing us to open at 6 o'clock and we do hope this plan, which the government is going forward with, to continue. Hong Kong's government has been taking aggressive steps to kickstart the economy. This year's budget includes some $15 billion of relief measures, from cash handouts for residents to reduce profits and salaries tax, as well as support for the tourism and tax sectors. International political tensions have dampened local exports and market settlements. Violence crashes have endangered the stability and safety of our society, and the pandemic has exerted additional pressure on the whole community and economy. But there are concerns about the growing cost of saving Hong Kong from its worst recession. At $13 billion, this year's budget deficit is lower than expected, but the balance sheet is taking strain from last year. Meanwhile, the first increase in the city's tax on stock trading since 1993 has prompted heavy falls on the Hang Seng Index and a huge slump in shares for the stock market operator HKX. Analysts say some are worried about balancing fiscal pressures with a shrinking economy. The key question is also about uh, beyond the uh, basically the method of spending, but also the size of the fiscal stimulus. We actually see quite a, uh, uh, I would say, a shrinking fiscal stimulus from the government in that in that end. And therefore, I do think that right now the, the basically the support from the government may not be truly enough in terms of uh, the basically the economic pressure that Hong Kong is facing right now. The political costs may be rising as well. Chinese authorities are currently planning changes to Hong Kong's electoral laws. A slew of pro-democracy activists are currently going on trial here. And on top of that, young people are currently fleeing the city after Beijing imposed a national security law. For now, the second COVID-19 budget may give the local economy a boost. The government is expecting up to 5.5% growth in GDP this year, with vaccines key to the recovery. But longer term, the future of this financial hub is looking increasingly uncertain. Joel Flynn, TRT World, Hong Kong.